What's up, guys? Jeff here for Mad Hatter's Reef. And if you're new to what we're doing here, this is where I talk about everything reef tank related. So if you love reef tanks like I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. Now, today we're going to be talking about Pico reef tanks. So let's jump into it. So what is exactly a Pico reef tank? Now the water box is outside the range of a Pico reef tank and probably even outside the range of a nano tank. It's more on the line of a small reef tank coming in at about 70 gallons. So there isn't any defined numbers as far as what is nano and what is a normal reef tank and what is a Pico. But as far as what we see and the term being used as often as it is, a nano tank is anything 40 gallons or less to about the size of a Pico tank, which a Pico tank is typically three gallons or less. And as far as the care and husbandry of a Pico tank, it's very important to be aware of the constraints that are involved with a Pico tank. Me personally, I'm not going to recommend somebody new getting into the hobby to try one of these out because it is rather difficult to maintain the parameters of a Pico tank. And the thought process behind that is a smaller body of water. The parameters can change much more rapidly than a larger aquarium. But being armed with that knowledge and having an understanding of what a Pico reef tank needs it may not be as difficult as we once thought to keep one of these reef tanks. In last week's video, I shared a podcast where I sat down with Felicia, an author from Coral Magazine, and she shared some of her knowledge and experiences with keeping Pico reef tanks. And it really kind of inspired me to think about this concept of keeping micro reef tanks. And if you missed that, I'll go ahead and put a link to that episode in the description below. It is a podcast, so there's not a whole lot going on visually, but there is a lot of amazing content in that episode. So as far as what we're going to do in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the top 10 critters, fish, and vertebrates that you can put into a Pico reef tank. So without further ado, let's jump into our top 10. All right, guys, so kicking things off with number 10 on our top 10 Pico reef tank critters, and that is the Astria turbo snail now these guys are definitely a must-have and for me personally a staple in any reef tank that i put together they are probably the number one critter when it comes to removing algae from the tank they are very hardy they're going to last a very long time i still have some in my 220 gallon uh, tank that are probably the size of a 50 cent piece or even bigger and they are incredibly resilient and the reason that i put them in most of my reef tanks is they have the ability to flip themselves over i have had people in the past argue that fact but my experience is that this snail is very capable of turning itself over if it becomes disconnected from the glass the rock work and the reason that that's important is your hermit crabs or other carnivores that potentially are looking for an easy meal in your tank are not going to have a feast. The snail is going to ride itself up and get back to work. Another thing that I absolutely love about this snail is it's relatively inexpensive. Now you can see here on the price point at Live Aquara, it's $2.99 and that's probably on the high end. A lot of times you can find this snail for as low as a dollar a piece. And when you're buying 20 30 or 40 of these snails to put into a reef tank that's a pretty good deal but when you are talking about pico reef tanks i would go with the gallon per snail method and if you have a five gallon pico reef tank get a handful of them and you should do just fine they're not going to be too healthy they're not going to die off because there's not enough food in the tank they're going to do a good job of consuming the algae in the tank and you're going to have a nice, clean little Pico reef tank. One of the absolute best members of the cleanup crew, the Astria Snail. And while we're talking about cleanup crews, let's keep it going with number nine. And that is the blue-legged hermit crab. Now, as far as stocking a Pico reef tank and hermit crabs, I wouldn't go 
too many. It actually would keep it pretty light. I'd do maybe two or three in a five gallon Pico reef tank. And that's going to keep a lot of aggression amongst the hermit crabs down, uh, making sure that there's enough food for all of them. And you might even need to feed the tank a little bit heavier, depending on how many crabs you put in the tank. As far as aggression with hermit crabs, it can be a problem. I have not observed that too often with the blue-legged hermit crabs, and they do a very good job of removing detritus and uneaten food from the tank, and that's why I do feel that they are a extremely valued member of a cleanup crew for any reef tank. And as far as hermit crabs go, the blue-legged hermit crab is the least expensive of all the hermit crabs that are available to hobbyists, and that's why they are one of my favorites. Not only that, the coloration is absolutely amazing. I think that their legs are stunning. Their crusher claws, as they grow, become very vivid, and there's a lot of color in this little guy. The one thing I do recommend when you are adding hermit crabs to a reef tank is you add some extra empty shells. This is going to help also reduce aggression amongst other hermit crabs and potentially the killing of a snail. Check them out. One of my favorites and definitely a must-have in any reef tank. You just got to make sure you stalk them properly so they don't absolutely slaughter each other. And I typically go with the blues because they're not as aggressive as other hermit crabs. The blue-legged hermit crab is a great addition to any reef tank. Coming in at number eight on our top ten Pico Reef Tank Critters is the Neon Gobi. Now, the Neon Gobi is a fish that is relatively small in size, and that's what makes it a great fish for a Pico Reef Tank. They are considered easy to care for, have a peaceful temperament, and require a carnivore-based diet. They are considered reef safe and can grow upwards of two inches. One of the great things about this fish is they are a very site oriented fish, so they typically stay in one location on the reefs, which makes them a great candidate for aquaculture. Not only that, when you have a fish that is typically a very site oriented fish that stays in one small location, it also makes them a great candidate for a small aquarium. One of the great things about the Neon Gobi is they are also known to pick off parasites off from larger fish and they are just an absolute great little fish that are going to work in smaller aquariums, larger aquariums and do a number of different great things. Check them out, the Neon Gobi. Coming in at number seven on our top 10 Pico reef tank critters is the camel shrimp. Now, these guys are very easy to care for and they have a peaceful temperament, so you don't have to worry about compatibility issues with this shrimp. But on a word of caution with compatibility, they have been known to nip at mushroom corals and other leather corals. And that's the importance of doing research on the critters that you're going to be keeping in your reef tank. Now, if you plan on keeping mushrooms in your Pico reef tank, at that point, this might not be the best shrimp for you. But if you are into the way that this guy likes to move around and the way in which they look, and they're a very interesting addition to a reef tank, and you don't care about mushrooms, this could be the perfect shrimp for you because in a Pico reef tank, it's typically always going to be visible and not hidden. And that's the benefit of having a smaller tank with a shrimp like this that you're going to be able to enjoy it more often and frequently. It's not going to be one of those situations where you put it in the tank and then you never see it again or you see it maybe once a month and you just you have to be okay with knowing that it's in there but you don't get to see it in a Pico reef tank more often than not you're going to see it. Coming in at number six on our top 10 Pico Reef Tank Critters is the Green Clown Goby. One of the great things about this fish is they are relatively inexpensive and easy to care for. They have a peaceful temperament, have that carnivore diet, so they're going to want to eat the meats. They are considered reef safe, even though that I feel in the past that I've had issues with clown gobies and SPS corals. But that doesn't mean that you're going to have SPS corals in a Pico reef tank. So why not have that fish that you want to have? They grow upwards of an inch and three quarters and are a very sight oriented fish and like a lot of places to perch and kind of be able to look over the entire tank. And that's what makes them a great consideration for a Pico reef tank. And that's why they came in at number six. Coming in at the halfway point on our top 10 Pico reef tank critters is the sexy shrimp. Now the sexy shrimp is 
just like its name. It is probably one of the most interesting looking shrimps out there. It is considered easy to care for, has a peaceful temperament, a carnivore diet, and is considered reef safe. Now, one of the interesting things about this guy is its size factor. It is probably one of the smallest shrimps that are actively kept in the hobby. They grow upwards an inch and a half. So a full-grown sexy shrimp is an inch and a half. That's pretty small, but that's what makes this shrimp a great candidate for a Pico reef tank. Now, in a 220-gallon tank, you put this little guy in there, and there's a good chance that you're never going to see him again. Now, in a species-specific Pico tank, you have the ability to enjoy this little guy and give him the conditions that he needs to not only thrive, but grow and have a very good life where you're able to enjoy this awesome little shrimp. Coming in at number four on our top 10 Pico Reef Tank Critters is the Scarlet Reef Hermit Crab. Now, all the same things apply as far as hermit crabs go. You know, you want to add extra shells. There's probably one that's going to become the more dominant of them. In a Pico Reef Tank setting, you don't want to add that many of them to begin with. And that's what makes this hermit crab probably one of the best suited for a Pico Reef Tank. Hands down, they are probably one of the most expensive hermit crabs at the local fish store. I have paid upwards of $5 for one. So in a situation where you are paying $5 a piece and you throw them into a bucket, have them acclimated, and then they get put into the larger reef tank and then disappear, that's relatively disappointing. But in a Pico Reef Tank, which it's a very small tank, you're going to be able to see this crab a lot more often and able to enjoy it. So that $5 price tag doesn't seem as bad. Absolute breathtaking looking hermit crab. Check them out, the Scarlet Hermit Crab. Coming in at number three on our top 10 Pico Reef Tank Critters is the Spotted Coral Croucher Goby. Now it's called the Goby, but it isn't actually a Goby. It's a member of the Scorpion Fish family. And with being a member of the scorpion fish family, it has those venomous fins. So that's something that you want to make sure that you take into consideration when you look into this guy. And now as far as fish go and Pico Reef Tanks and this top 10 list, this is the most expensive item with the exception, I think, of the number one critter. But they are considered easy to care for, have a peaceful temperament, and have a very interesting appearance. They appear to have almost like a fuzziness, and it's like a little appendage throughout in its entire body. They have a carnivore-based diet, which they need the brine shrimp, the mysis shrimp, and a lot of other prepared carnivore-based seafoods, and are considered reef-safe. They grow upwards of two inches, and like I said, they are venomous. So a very interesting fish, and I think a interesting addition to a reef tank. Check them out, the spotted coral croucher goby. Not a goby, but we're going to call it a goby. It's a goby. It acts like a goby. Okay, it's a scorpion fish. I'm sorry. And coming in at number two on our top ten, Pico Reef Tank Critters. And the last fish, the hyphen banded goby. Now, this guy I have personally kept, and he was a little bit of a jumper. So if you're going to keep one of these guys, make sure you have a lid on your tank. They are considered moderate care level, have a peaceful temperament, and a carnivore-based diet. They are considered reef safe, can grow upwards of two inches, and have been known to bond with pistol shrimp so if you're gonna buy one of these guys you look, see him at the local fish store and it looks like he's next to a hole make sure there's not a pistol shrimp in there and if you're gonna buy them buy them together because they bonded and that's important to keep that bond going check them out the hyphen goby and coming in at number one on the top 10 pico reef tank critters is the harlequin shrimp now these guys are considered moderate care level have a peaceful temperament have a carnivore based diet and are considered reef safe they grow upwards of an inch and a half so they are relatively small now the interesting thing about this shrimp is it has a diet that consists of solely starfish so if you want a harlequin shrimp you need to be okay with the fact that you're going to be buying starfish to keep this guy alive 
Unless you got those little nasty white boogers that climb up onto your glass every night. And I'm talking about those Astorina starfish. They are a pest. And if you have those in your reef tank, you can actually get a Harlequin shrimp, add it to your reef tank, and it will go to town on those starfish and will actually do a great job at population control. But if you don't have those starfish, this guy still needs to eat and you're going to be running to the store and buying a very unfortunate starfish that's going to be served up. But all things considered, I think this is, would be a great addition to a Pico reef tank where you're actually able to enjoy this guy. The one thing about these uh, shrimp that they do require a dimly lit tank. So if you have a larger tank, they're probably only going to come out in the evening times. And that's usually when the starfish come out anyways. But if you're not into ornament starfish, uh, they're definitely a great addition to a reef tank. And I think in a Pico reef tank setting, you would actually be able to really enjoy this guy. So check them out. The Harlequin shrimp coming in at number one on our top 10 Pico reef tank critters. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Again, if you're new to the channel and haven't hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and do that. Don't forget to hit the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit the thumbs up, and I will see you next week right here with a brand new video. Peace.